Howdy everyone, and welcome back to the Nuna Geeks Out channel today. Exciting day because we are getting back to Good Shark Spin on the channel, a group that I checked out about a month ago, I want to say. Had an absolute blast, that was some incredible stuff. And it is a live video from the live performance, something that people have been telling me to check out some, some live stuff from them. Since I checked it out, apparently they are incredible live. It's a new track from them. Uh, let me attempt to say the Japanese title. Apologies for what will likely be some terrible pronunciation, but, uh, Ranu Mato. I don't feel good on that. Uh, translates to Lonely Mart. The YouTube title does say Lonely Mart. I'm assuming that's simply a typo. Um, but anyways, yeah, Lonely Mart by Gachark Spin. Live at Line... C la la Oh boy, <laughs> Line Cube Shibuya. That should not have been so hard to say. Um, yeah, I'm very excited to check this out. The last track we heard from them was incredible. This I am a little tentative about because it, it is live, right? And, and live performances do have the possibility to, to struggle a bit more. A lot of the, the flaws that come forth can be much more apparent. Um, but also a lot of the talent can come forth a, a lot more as well. So there's... um. What sort I'm looking for? I'm, I'm struggling. There, oh boy. There, there's uh, the pros and cons to live performances. But anyways, enough folks have been telling me to check out some live stuff and that I'm very excited to check this one out. So without further ado, let's hop into it. What? Look, you sort of... Sort of Piano and just vocals. Sounds like some slight portion on. Everything else coming in now. Okay, really, really good live vocals. Ooh. That's some sweet guitar right there. Bit more force coming in the vocals, very nice. Good bass right there. Okay. Oh. Oh. What are different shifts in here? Oh, I'm on sneeze. Oh, good. me someone. It's just all sounds like there's some artist that's reminding me of. Oh, that's gonna haunt me.
very build up with the drums and everything right here. Oh, a little, I slide across the piano to finish that up. Back into, whoops. That was sweet. Oh, it's still going. Piano, uh, piano outro. Arigato. A little bit of little drums as well. Love a little ending like that out of live, uh, live performance. So you get to have a little flourish or whatever right at the end. Always fun, always fun. Yeah, very, very good song. I do think I slightly prefer the other one we checked out. I think that was just a more fun song, right? But this had so much good stuff in it. Um, yeah, very, very good stuff. Normally, at this point, I would switch into talking about the lyrics. While the lyrics are out there, I've been unable to track down an English translation of them, so we will sadly have to skip past that section in this video, which is a shame, because the lyrics were so, so strong on that last track. Um, so I'm sure they're great here as well. But without a translation, I cannot talk about them because I do not trust Google Translate or any of the other things for actually carrying across this stuff that's really important in lyrics. You know, the, the, the emotion and the certain sort of poetic elements and everything. Um, so, yeah, I'll just skip past that straight into the review. Um, and starting off, as we tend to do with the vocals, those were fantastic. I, I could definitely hear a few points where it sounded like she got you know, a note a little off or something like that, um, but this was A, a live performance, which, so, yeah, that's gonna happen, and B, from what I've been reading, some folks are saying that this song is a bit outside of her range, so the fact that the vocals were as good as they were, with only a few, like, actually really noticeable, um, errors, shall we say, is, I'd say pretty dang impressive right there, especially if this is out, a bit outside of her range. Um, but yeah, those are fantastic, fantastic vocals. You had, you know, just some quieter sections, but some sections where really a lot of force and power came through as well. A lot of emotion wrapped up in them, and they, they blended so well with all the different moments. And then the backing vocals in this were fantastic as well. Um, I actually really liked those, the way everyone's voices came together were just beautiful. Um, so yeah, fantastic vocals on this, especially for it being a live performance. To be that good, with so few noticeable issues, again, that is, uh, that is very impressive. Um, so those are great. The guitar was, oh, that was nice, that was nice. Loved the guitar. Um, it had, had, had some good riffs and stuff in there. Nothing that necessarily stood out to me too much, but the guitar was, it was really, really nice. Um, I think it's the best way to put it. It was, it was just some really nice guitar. The bass, oh, I loved that. Of, of course, that was expected from the last track, which had some incredible bass as well, but no bass in this was great. So, just such a good, rich tone to it um it it really stood out without being overwhelming which is you know, a fine line to blend especially with something like that um so yeah the, the bass was great in this great in this again i think with all of this i would have preferred perhaps a bit more energy or something but it was still really good drums incredible probably my favorite um instrument uh in this one and those were fantastic especially that like Build up, I was mentioning uh, at that one point, that was really nice, but the drums throughout this are really, really, really good. Um, and then finally, we had the keyboards, those were nice. I, they didn't stand out quite as much through the moments, or there's like really the only thing where, yeah, I noticed them. When everything else was coming together, they faded a bit too much into the background, I'd say. 
but the keyboards were really nice in this. I thought those were great. Those were, um, I'd go so far as to say beautiful. I, I really like the, I really like the piano, really like the keyboards in this one. Um, and I, I think it provided a good, um, good bit of extra variety in this song. You know, you have your, your, your standards that are like almost rock, I want to say ballad kind of thing, but you have just those really slow, calm, beautiful sections with just the piano. And that was really nice. It provided, I think, that extra bit of variety that this track was really needing to really make it um, hit me. Where if it had just been just a fairly straightforward, um, uh, like, rock ballad kind of thing, like I mentioned, it would have been good, but bringing in those different things, like that really slow section, really brought that extra bit up to, like, Oh, this is actually some really good stuff, aside from, yeah, this is enjoyable. Um, so, yeah, great, great keyboards in this. Um, all in all, all in all, good song, did prefer Kachi Kachiyama. I thought, again, that had a bit more energy and was just a bit more fun, which, frankly, I just think was what I needed more at that point, and here, yeah, this wasn't necessarily something I was needing, so it didn't hit too hard, um... But it, it was, I mean, the talent was on display, the skill was on display, they did an incredible job. I think it's more, this is just a sort of style of music that they're doing with this one that I don't like quite as much as some other things. Um, but, yeah, all in all, all in all, really, really good stuff, really good stuff. I would put this behind Kachi Kachiyama. But I wouldn't necessarily put it far behind it, right? Um, it's, it, it, I mean, I've only heard two songs from them, but it is a close second. There's a lot of stuff to like with this one. I'm sure once we get studio version, I'll like it even more once I'm able to um, hear it in sort of almost the uh, intended form, if you will. Um, but yeah, yeah, all, all in all, all in all, some good, good stuff with this track. Some good stuff. I am just sad I wasn't able to talk about the lyrics, because I'm sure those are great. Um, but I am out of things to say on the song. So you all know the drill, it's time to discuss what we will be checking out next time. And yes, I said discuss, because there is a specific thing we will be doing next time, instead of turning over to the picker wheel, because... Little Uzi Vert just put out a song featuring Baby Metal. A collaboration I never thought would happen. But... Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna like it, because Lil Uzi Vert is just, his style of music is frankly just not for me. It, I, I'm sure y'all have figured out at this point that I am a metalhead first and foremost. I like other stuff, but metal, that is my thing. Um, so rap, especially that sort of modern rap style that Lil Uzi Vert has, just, you know, it doesn't do it for me. But it's baby metal featured on it, which, you know, if, if he's good enough for them, he's good enough for me. <laughs> And I, I think even if it's something I don't like, it's gonna be interesting. And that is really important, especially with, like, reaction content, right? So yeah, we're checking out that next time. I do not know what to expect. I do not, I, I do not know if I'm going to like it, but I am really looking forward to it. Um, so that'll be fun, and then I'll be back to pick a wheel after that. But anyways, yeah, um... Little Uzi Vert featuring Baby Metal next time. Once again, something I never thought we'd see, but I am interested to check it out. But I am out of things to say now, so that is going to do it for the video. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like if you liked, subscribe if you want to see more, and comment down below with your thoughts on the track, any feedback or criticism, or anything you want me to react to. In the description, link to the uh, live performance, so you can go check it out, support the artist. Link to my uh, Guitar Explain videos playlist, my Rock and Metal Reactions playlist, and my Japanese Music Reactions playlist. So you can check out some similar content from me. And then links to my Discord server, Instagram, Twitter, Spotify playlist of all the songs I've reacted to, at least the ones I've on Spotify. And my link tree which has all my other stuff in it in case any of that interests y'all. Anyways, like I said, that's going to do it. So once again, thank you for watching, and until next time, I'll be seeing ya.